Everybody's getting ready for the weekend, are you? Hey, if you'd like to do something a little bit different, maybe you haven't tried this before, do a little stargazing, a little night watching to tell us what we can expect to see in the night skies. Our good friend Andrew Fazekas from Montreal, Quebec, joining us on the line. How are you today, Andrew? Well, happy Friday, guys. Happy, happy Friday, Friday to you. <laughs> happy weekend eve, we like to say here. Well, it's just actually just Emily and I like to say that. <laughs> very what appropriate. Can, very appropriate indeed. What can we expect this weekend to just to get us all started off on the right foot? Well, you know, uh, the autumn season, some people think, is pretty bland in the sky, but there are some really beautiful stellar sights, and it's a great way, time actually, to start learning uh, to navigate the night sky. And t uh, what, over the next few weeks, anytime you have a clear evening, check out this beautiful queen of the sky that's rising in the northeast. Now, th on any clear night, you'll find this, this queen of the constellation called Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is in the northeast high, and it's easy to find if you just take the Big Dipper. Most people uh, know the Big Dipper. It looks like a giant ladle in the sky, and it's hanging low to the northern horizon now, so you have to look low. Then you take the two end stars of the bull in the Big Dipper, and you draw an imaginary line upward. Just keep going up. You'll pass through the North Star, and then you'll reach this zigzag, sort of like a, a, a lopsided W shape, five, a group of five stars. That's Cassiopeia. You can't miss it because it's the brightest group of stars in that part of the sky. And it's, uh, it marks this queen, this mythological queen from uh, Greek mythology. And uh, you'll see up close uh, what it's supposed to represent, this uh, W, <laughs> is the, the, the body of this queen, Cassiopeia, sitting on her th regal throne. Hmm. And a very beautiful mythological character. There's a whole soap opera, by the way, behind <laughs> it. It's beyond our, our, our time now to talk about it, but uh, check that out if you can. We'll have to talk but later. <laughs> yeah, exactly, a big soap <laughs> opera in the sky. But if you take a pair of binoculars and you look just next to this W, you'll find this what's called the Owl Cluster. It's a beautiful sight of over 80 stars all clumped together. They're baby stars. And uh, the two bright stars you see in the picture on the upper left, those mark the owl's eyes, actually. Those are the eyes hmm. of the owl. And get this, this cluster is 9,900 light years away from the Earth and it's sitting in the next door spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. So you, this is quite a distance. That means the light has taken almost 10,000 years to get to us. Wow, wow, that's really spectacular. Okay, Andrew, I'm up on my soap operas, but this cosmic quiz question, well, it's kind of tripping me up. So what do you have for us today? <laughs> well, let's stick with the constellation that we're talking about this week. <laughs> According to mythology, who is the husband of Cassiopeia? Dun, dun, dun. It's Greek mythology. So this mm. is the Greek soap opera you've got to be <laughs> up on. Is it A, Cepheus? B, Perseus, or C, Orion? Or D, Victor Newman. I'm not sure. <laughs> I really, I don't know. I should have put that one in, eh? I heard of Cassiopeia the first time when I watched Battlestar Galactica, so I'm completely lost on this one. Oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, quickly, <laughs> Andrew, uh, what do you have in terms for Space News this weekend? Well, uh, there, it's, it's a beautiful picture postcard released from the Hubble Space Telescope. This is a landmark 10th anniversary of the Hubble Space Telescope Hubble Heritage Project. It's basically a, an online gallery that's on the web that's marking its 10th anniversary that the folks at the Hubble Space Telescope uh, have, uh, have put together. And here you can see in this animation this image of a landscape image of a nearby star-forming region. And all, what you're seeing is our hills and valleys of gas and dust displayed in an intricate detail. And it's set amid a dr backdrop of soft blue glowing light with wispy tendrils of gas and dar dark trunks. It's really amazing. And this seven, it's, get this, it's 7,000 light years away from us. It's amazing what the Hubble can, can show us. That is fantastic. You know what, Andrew, as always, a great time with you. I want to answer the Cosmic Quiz before we let you go. The question today was, according to mythology, who was the hus husband of Cassiopeia? Our options were Cepheus, Perseus, or Orion. What's the answer today? The answer is A, Cepheus. I knew King it. of Ethiopia mm -hmm. is the constellation right next to Cassiopeia. Yeah, he was married to someone else before, but... Uh, yeah, I <laughs> think I missed that episode. Thanks a lot, Andrew, for joining us on the line. There's the website for more information.